Well, welcome to Training Tuesday, everyone, and thanks for joining in today's webinar. We're finishing up our tilt months with understanding the engineering services, process, and team members that can assist you with all of your tilt up needs. So for those of you who are first-time visitors to the Training Tuesday, I am Heidi Reese with Dayton Superior's Marketing Training Department, and I'm also here with Chuck Hoke, our National Training Manager, as well as some of the Tilt Up team members on the phone. So like usual, let's just go over a couple of housekeeping items to make our Training Tuesday more enjoyable for everyone. So we've muted everybody that joined the call so that there are no disturbances throughout. Uh, but if you want to, please feel free to go ahead and put in some questions through the chat functionality in Zoom. And at the end of the presentation, we'll have a mini question and answer session. Also want to let everyone know that this presentation is being recorded in case you want to re-listen to it later. Or if you know that someone would enjoy it or benefit from it, you can forward that to them as well. We end up posting these on our YouTube channels as well as VaynerSuperior.com. So any past Training Tuesdays you can find out there. Okay, so what are we talking about today? We're going to be talking about Tilt Up Engineering Services Solutions. So we're going to go through the Tilt Up design process from start to finish. This is for architects, structural engineers, contractors, fabricators, and material providers. We're going to be talking about estimations as well as engineering services, job site delivery as well as support, and we'll go into a little bit more in depth on some other things and answer your questions that you may need. So as I said, we've got on the phone with us some of the Tilt Up team members. You're going to hear mainly from Shane Walters. He's going to help guide us through the Tilt Up resource services and process that can help you understand how Dayton Superior can be your single source solution for your Tilt-Up needs. So let's talk about Mr. Tiltworks himself. He is the Director of Tilt-Up Engineering and Tiltworks and has worked as a structural engineer for over 20 plus years, as well as a licensed professional engineer since 2003. He has worked on design, project coordination, and development of a computer-based design tool that we'll go over. This is for the tilt-up construction industry. In addition, he is a TCA board member, and he's also co-authored articles on the design of multi-story tilt-up buildings. So it's real exciting to have him on board. Um, I'm first going to start us out by saying that this presentation is intended for training purposes only. So anything that we discuss and for technical specifications um, or any of the products that we're mentioning here, please go to DaytonSuperior.com and you can find all of that information on the website. As we get going, I, like I said already, it's the single source solution for your tilt up needs. We have estimation. We have engineering, we have job site delivery, as well as job site support. So the Tilt Up Project's design process is very linear. It's got the architects, structural engineers, contractors, fabricators, as well as material providers that I already mentioned. And that is the initial project flow. And then it is also for the submittal review and revisions into the organization. Very, very linear process. The tasks are very dependent on the different stakeholders, reduces um, the situation for the project schedule, making it uh, less prone for errors, as well as for uh, communication falters. So it goes stakeholder by stakeholder, and it is communicated appropriately. And we'll talk about the various other ways that you can ask for all of this information and uh, needs to go to you. So now I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Tiltworks. <laughs> Shane, go ahead and you can use the mouse as well. So Shane, if you want to talk about the benefits of using Tiltworks, go right ahead. All right, thanks All right. Heidi. Uh, as, as, she, as Heidi mentioned, the process for moving through a Tilt-Up project is linear. Uh, what we've tried to do by introducing TiltWorks and our processes here at Dayton Superior is to kind of make it such that each stakeholder can get to the right person at the right time and not always have to follow that process. It, it works for most jobs, but as we've seen in the last few years, it's been a lot more 
um, fast pace. So that's where Tiltworks and our processes come into place. So Tiltworks is a web-based software that does design and detailing of tilt-up projects. It also does lifting and bracing. It does material takeoff. It does estimations. And this can be used by anyone along the process line. So by the designer, by the architect, by the structural engineer, the contractor, fabricator, any, any of those folks could use Tiltworks and, and get that information into the hands of any other person along the line. So it helps increase efficiency. It reduces our lead times, reduces revision costs, and it keeps you on schedule for your project, which is a big thing these days, because as we've seen right now, projects are going so fast, there's, there's just no time to run everything back up the chain and run everything back down. And our, you know, a few years ago, that was fine. No, not so much the case. So that's where it comes into play and, and helps out a lot for that. Uh, it's a total tilt-up design package. It designs everything, everything to do with the tilt-up panels in there. It even does reinforcing. So that's where the engineers come into play. And the way we and the way we have it set up, it's such that the engineer can go ahead and design his project like he normally would. And normally you'd see he'd do it in a spreadsheet. He'd send you some drawings with a few a few sheets here or there that says, here's my typicals and that's what you use. Now, if he does it in Tiltworks, he could design the entire building. Now, when it comes to the bidding process, now the, the person that's bidding the steel can go, hey, can I see your model so I can get my, my steel numbers out of it? The folks doing the lifting and bracing can go, can I use that to get my lift and brace estimates? The guys providing the concrete can get their, their concrete volumes and get forming lumber. All of these things can come out of Tiltworks which shortens the time frame to get your estimates and get your costs, which in turn shortens the building time frame so you can tighten up your schedule. And it incorporates everything, all the dimensional information for the job, the product and engineering elements for a complete package. So once again, it can produce rebar shop drawings as well as rebar placement drawings. Those drawings can be imported into the cutting machines. We have a few customers we work with that use that functionality. It can produce shop drawings. We have design builders that, that use it for and that use it for their, their panel shop drawings. Their field guys are out there building drawings and putting them out in the job trailer and not having to wait for shop drawings to come from a, a shop. And it also does lifting and bracing engineering. The same tool that we let our, our outside customers use is the same tool we use inside. So everyone's always working on the same thing and you can get those bill of materials really, really quick. Now let's go through some of the features and benefits of Tiltworks. First and big one is being able to generate those CAD files and generate those drawings. We also have an option where you can import drawings from Revit directly into Tiltworks, saving you time of having to build a model, look at architectural, look at structurals, try to piece it all together. Instead of doing that, we actually have a, an add-on that's in the Revit App Store where it can get sent from Revit directly into Tiltworks. And from there, you can get right to designing your, your tilt-up walls or pulling off an estimate. We have quite a few customers that actually do that for their estimation and some engineers that actually use it for their, their engineering so they can get that information back to the contractors and back to their customers as soon as possible. And then vice versa, we can export out the 3D model that shows the rebar in the panels so that uh, for someone new to Tilt-Up, they can show this to a, a new rod buster and go, here's how you lay out a Tilt-Up panel. Again, you can also, from an engineering standpoint, Tiltworks takes care of the Tilt-Up walls. The engineer can do what he needs to do with the foundations, the slab on grade, the, the steel columns, joist, joist girders and then merge that into a 3D model that he can send back to the architect to do clash detection. You can take to a, a visit with the owner to show him, hey, here's what your building's gonna look like and do that walkthrough. That's always a good ball factor when you're out there trying to sell your services and also get the owner on board for what you wanna do with the building. A full material quantity estimate can be produced. Uh, the, one of the big things is normally when an engineer does their design, they're designing just for the loads on the building. With Tiltworks, we have it integrated so that 
if they know the cost of their concrete, know the cost of their steel and the cost of material and labor for what they're gonna do, they can plug that into the system and not just get a design based on loading, they can get a design based on cost. So maybe concrete's real cheap and steel isn't. They can go ahead and make the walls a little thicker, reducing their steel and get a more optimized cost. And they can do those what ifs very quickly. You have um, the 3D modeling capability I mentioned earlier, where you can do paper dolls, you can generate those, those um, 3D models like I talked about to show the owner and architect and GC. Now, let's drill into individual benefits, the contractor benefits. Contractors can have their project managers that are just, I mean, as long as they can use a computer, which pretty much everyone can these days, they can go in and use this to generate those panel shop drawings. That is what you need to start building your, your tilt up panels. We've had countless customers that, you know, they're, they say, you know, this was great. I was able to show this to my guy. He knew how to use the, the, the spreadsheet functionality to do his estimates. And when I showed him how to do this for drawings, it worked out so great. And I now just have him do all of my tilt up panels and I don't have to worry. And when changes come out in the field, he can make a change and share this back with the engineer and we can get up and running and move through things a whole lot faster. Bill of materials, like I said earlier, that is that is key. A lot of times, you you uh, you know, when you put an open a new opening in, you make a, a building taller, shorter, you make it thicker. All those changes, someone has to track through to find out what do I need. Tiltworks will take care of that, and especially on the lifting and bracing side, all of the Dayton products that go into a tilt-up panel are built into Tiltworks with the part numbers. So instead of you having to track down the part number for a, a seven and a quarter inch T275. The system will pull that in, give that to you, tally everything up, and now you can go in with a really, really fine tuned bid. Reinforcing quantities, concrete volume, lumber quantities, chemical volumes, it, it takes into account application rates. All of those things are, are, are automatically built in to save you time on the front end. And then that also helps eliminate inaccuracies and reduce RFIs when everyone's using the same model and getting the same information out of it versus one person using it on their, their spreadsheet, another person just taking a wag. It, it's, it's taking all of that out of, out of play. Material provider benefits. So for material providers, you get to same thing, get all that information out of Tiltworks, get those, get those takeoffs. So we mentioned before form lumber. Uh, someone that's providing a forming package can use this to figure out, you know, how many of the top form, bottom form, edge form, or the, the common form for the joints do I need? How many angle brackets do I need? How many chairs? The rebar fabricators. We have an actual interface where we can send it out to an ASA cutting, machi cutting machine, Shear 97 or the Soule format. So if the engineer did the design in Tiltworks, instead of now having to pass over drawings that say five at 12 vertical or four at 18 horizontal, and now the rebar fabricator has to come up with, with shop drawings, send them back to the engineer, that engineer approves them, they go back and then they finally produce the package. If they actually build their model in Tiltworks, all of that work's cut out because it generates all of that for them with cutting with cut list and a file that can be fed into that cutting machine. Flyers, they can save time during the bidding process. You know, Dayton Superior actually we we use this internally to to do um, our estimates for our customers, and it's actually the engine that's somewhat behind our online web-based tool that we use for estimates. Now, engineering advantage. Anytime someone sends a project into Dayton Superior for lifting and bracing, the first thing we do is we say, hey, when can we set up a pre-engineering design call with you to figure out what's special about your project and discuss lead times and try to figure out where, where all the issues are so we can get all that answered on the front end as opposed to a day or two before someone's trying to submit your lift and brace project back to you. They're asking you these things. We, we take that out of the equation and we try to catch that on the front end. That way we can deliver the lead times that we have been for the industry for the last two years during this busy time. 
And that's something that we pride ourselves on. If we give you a lead time, we do our best and 99.9% .9 of the time, we stick to that. And we make sure we hold to that because we know, you know, a day late might not seem like a lot for most guys doing this, but we know one day late can mean a whole lot to a contractor out there on site. Our superior tilt team has all engineers. Everyone that works for us and everyone that does lifting and bracing all have engineering degrees. Uh, some of them are actually licensed professional engineers, and we run our team like an engineering firm. Uh, we we don't we try our best to not have it set up as well. We're just selling you the product, and and we don't give you any backing for that. That's why we made them all engineers so that they can't they can not only just answer questions about a lift and brace insert, they can potentially help you with issues with with the panel that may go outside of that scope. Uh, we have engineers registered in every state. So when you need something signed and sealed, we do that in-house. We actually support our customers, you know, outside of business hours. There's been many a time, you you, you all know, a, a job's going to get placed at 3 or 4 in the morning. And at 6 or 7 or 8 at night, you realize, hey, the owner made a change and they need to shift this door open. That's part of the reason we have our, our staff set up the way we do. There's a group email where everything goes. And then everyone gets that email internally. So there's always at least one person that's kind of checking that and making sure that we can get answers back to you in a timely fashion. That way, you know, we don't hold up a pour. We don't hold up um, getting a panel brace because crane time costs money. So we, we do whatever we can to make sure that we reduce any costly repairs or crane time or mistake. And we try to make sure everything stays efficient and safe. Now, uh, again, like I said, we run it like an engineering firm. You can see here, this is kind of showing our Revit modeling and where we do our export from Revit into Tiltworks. So we're not just a material provider. We actually provide you engineering services. It's, it's something we pride ourselves on. We make sure that our customers are getting a quality product, but also getting quality assistance as well. Real quick here, you can see in the background there, it's running. We went into Revit. We exported our model out of Revit, and uh, we sent it into our program Tiltworks. And just like that, all the walls that went that were in Revit are now inside of Tiltworks, and we're ready to start doing lifting and bracing. We're ready to start pulling off a materials list. So especially when it comes to estimation, we turn those around pretty quick because now we have the we have the thicknesses we have the panel widths we have the the openings and when we do our estimates they're actually more like a, a rough final design because we now know where things are at so we can potentially tell you hey you may need strong backs this panel might need reinforcing so we can get you all of those things on the front end because we saved all that time of having to dig through the architectures and structurals if we can pull that in from revit real quick shot there of, of pulling that model out and doing it, uh, doing the lifting and bracing in there. Lastly, our other services that we offer, delta tie layouts. Um, that's just laying out where they go in the panel whenever someone has an insulated job that they want to do with us. Tiltworks actually can produce those for you if you are so inclined to have someone in-house in, in do that. But that is the same, so again, we try to keep everything single source. So just like it does our lifting and bracing, just like it does the engineering, and it also does the material takeoffs, it also does our delta tie layouts. We're actually in the process of also making it do our Yeti layouts. And then we also have additional design tools for checking composite panels. And it's like I said earlier, the web-based estimation tool. So Heidi, I'll kick it back over to you to go through the team. All right, thanks so much, Shane. So let's meet the team. Um, you met Shane, you listened to Shane. Uh, Dane Superior's tilt-up sector currently is overseen by Sean McNamara, who has recently been promoted to all of engineering strategy and services. He is still working as the national director for tilt-up. Um, so as Shane alluded, we mentioned we have estimation and engineering. We also have technical sales, product support, sales development, 
in addition, customer service for the tilt. And then we have rental fleet braces and acubrace rentals. So let's talk about estimation. Within estimation, we have, guess who? Shane Walters, Director of Tilt of Engineering and Tilt Works, as I mentioned earlier, as well as Salam Al-Rubai. Uh, he is a PhD, Technical Program Manager for Insulated Concrete Products. And you'll notice he will appear on multiple of these slides, so he is a one-stop shop for all of the engineering and the estimations, uh, as well as the technical and product questions around the insulated concrete products. So Shane had already mentioned that we have, uh, Dane Sapir has a whole plethora of different kinds of email addresses. Here's one specific for estimation. It's tiltupestimate at DaytonSapir.com. It is a full service estimation team with fast turnaround, and that's provided by TiltWorks, which you just saw. Um, and Shane already mentioned, but it's I wanted to really hit home here that all of the uh, requests go into that, and it is being monitored all the time so that there is fast turnaround. So in engineering, again, Shane Walters, as well as a whole team of engineering managers, application engineers, et cetera, that can meet your needs. So that email address is tilt-up at DaytonSuperior.com. They do work outside of office hours for, for support and all your technical questions are answered. So now I'll take a pause real quick as we go through the team and just let you guys remember that if you have any questions, it's coming up for question and answer time if you wanna go ahead and put those in as I'm finishing up the presentation. You can do that through the Zoom functionality in the chat, the chat functionality in Zoom, I should say. So heading back to the Superior Tilt team, we're here to help. And that means we will allow technical sales to come and discuss what you need as far as products and information, any kind of product support and sales development. David Jaquette and Matt Laird are our technical sales representatives for the East and West. I'm sure if you've been on the past Training Tuesdays, you have heard them talking their talk about all the products that they know, the very good technical experts, and uh, are very knowledgeable and willing to assist when you need it. The Tilt Up Customer Service, that email address is superiortilt at DaytonSuperior.com. Once again, you can put in your questions to that Tilt Up Customer Service inbox, and guess what? Salam is there again. He's able to assist with anything that you need for the insulated concrete products. So sales, job site delivery, and customer support, it is dedicated to Tilt and single point of contact, like I mentioned, at that email address of superiortilt at datensuperior.com. You can do the orders, the quotes, brace fleet availability, you name it through that. Okay, so that's a good uh, way to segue into the field services for the tilt-up rental fleet and braces, as well as AccuBrace. Bradley Fawcett is our tilt-up rental fleet manager. Uh, I'm sure you've heard him for the AccuBrace Training Tuesday that we had a couple months back, as well as last two weeks ago, him and another uh, talked about the AccuBrace sum. Superior Tilt at DaytonSuperior.com is the email address for that if you need any assistance. And the field installation services, they, like I said, do the AccuBrace helical ground anchors, as well as insulated panel services to go with those. We're here to support you by building model and panel shop drawings, lifting engineering and bracing engineering. And it's good for the AutoCAD export for lifting and bracing drawings. This is just a real summary of the why we are the single source for tilt. We uh, can handle the rebar placement drawings, as well as instantaneous takeoff and estimates, 3D building modeling, and a full service estimation and engineering team here to service you. So now we're at the resources. I keep spouting this DaytonSuperior.com website. It is our website that has all of the information that you need. Uh, we have a tilt of estimation tool. You may have heard of it already. It allows you to gain the estimating numbers of lifting and bracing inserts and braces that you need for your project. It's a free service. You just have to go onto our website and you can sign up for that and utilize that as needed. It does not give you all of the great things that TiltWorks does, obviously, but it is a quick way to verify those lifting and bracing inserts that you need. In addition, we have a Tilt Up Engineering page 
that really goes over what we have just all talked about in this presentation for you. Um, there's a TiltWorks landing page that will provide you with what TiltWorks is all about. And then you can sign up for a free trial to those that are allowed to for the TiltWorks and uh, Shane can get you in or get in contact with you to make that happen. We have product and system pages on our website. You can see there the ones that just popped up on the screen, the AccuBrace system and helical ground anchors, as well as just the, uh, the bracing systems. We have a tilt-up job information sheet that can assist with you filling out and us getting back to you as, as you need, as well as te technical data sheets that can provide you with what you need for technical data. Brochures, success stories, handbooks, you name it, all can be found at DaytonSuperior.com. So with that, I'd like to open it up for questions. Uh, again, we have the team on the call. Um, Shane is there. Um, I'm here from a marketing standpoint, and Chuck is as well from training if you'd like to ask us anything. We do have one. So, uh, one person had mentioned that they thought there would be some beneficial technical information to educate users on TiltWork software and are curious if there are any technical seminars coming up. Shane, would you like to take that one? Uh, yeah, sure. If there's something specific you would, you would like to, to take a look at, feel free to reach out to me. I think Heidi listed the, the email there or you can just email me directly. I'm always available and I also have someone that works with me that can provide one-on-one um, -on -one help and assistance and, and technical information on TiltWorks if that's something that you would like. We find Fantastic. that works well because then that way you can you can tailor it specifically to what you do as a whether you're an engineer or a contractor. So if you're you know a contractor and you want to focus on estimation, we'll focus on that. If you're an engineer and you want to focus on you know panel design, we, we can focus in on that. We find that doing the one-on-ones actually seem to, to work well. Usually doesn't take more than a half an hour for for someone specific. So if you, if you would like that, feel free to, to shoot something over to us, whether it's me or Heidi, and we can do that. Absolutely, and that's a, that's a great um, plug for these Training Tuesdays, uh, granted, are just a half an hour, and they are open to the general audience. So we do have to keep them a little tight around some of the uh, – information that we provide so that we don't lose some and it can be not as technical as you'd hoped but to that point it is important to know that we, we provide you with the training at Dayton Superior um, email address as well as Shane uh, you know putting his email address up there for TiltWorks or any other kind of training that you need and Chuck and is here to uh, to provide that we can set something up for your company just give us a holler and we can try to figure all that out for you are there any other questions Okay, well, you know, thank you guys for joining us today. Remember that we do these every Tuesday. They're always at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on a different topic and different, well, you different people, various experts within our company. And today's presentation has been recorded, so an email will go out a little bit later letting you know that it is available. And I'll also put in some information in all those, um, those email addresses and what they are so that you will have a quick uh, kind of cheat sheet there for anything that you may need. And we all appreciate you joining today and want you all to have a happy Tuesday. Until next time. Thanks everyone. <laughs>